Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Unix. In today's tutorial, we are going to see most important useful commands which are normally used in day-to-day -day activities or when you want to write a powerful Unix program, these commands are also very helpful. So let's start today's tutorial. If you are going to manipulate data, what commands are useful? There are several commands are available. For example, awk, which is, comes as a tool, cmp. Awk, it's like for pattern scanning and processing language. So if you want to determine what patterns the existing data contains, you can, you can use this awk command. For example, if you are pre preparing a report daily basis at particular time, that means the time is a pattern for you. So you can use that pattern and prepare your reports. Consider there are two files, might be a text files or the XML file or any other kind of file. If you want to compare such two files, you can use the CMP command, which is very, very helpful in day-to-day -day activities. If you are, if you are comparing uh, already sorted data, then COMM, that is compare, you can use for sorted data. Cut command is used in order to cut out the selected fields of each line in given file. Diff, which is another interesting command as like compare, but diff command differential file comparator, which compares two different files again as like compare. We have the expand command to ex which expands the tabs to spaces. The join command is very helpful to join the multiple files. Perl, which is another programming language which normally use for data manipulation. SCD also comes as a tool which is like Perl kind of thing which, which, which has its a specific set of commands and normally used for the stream text editor. The sort command is used to sorting the data in the file. The split file is or the split command is used to split the files. So you can, there are several options comes with the split command, uh, like how many files you want to create or what is the line number of lines you want to cut in the file. So those kind of things comes with the split. I normally use the split if the file is very large and you want to grab or you want to read through of particular time interval so it become more cumbersome if you have the large file particular log files so you can just split such files into multiple files and look at your time frame and do your analysis on that small file compare is very rarely used but compare is uh, compare or div files or, or div commands are normally used if you are migrating your code from lower environment to the higher and if that higher environment already contains those files so first compare those files and then migrate the changes. So those in that cases, those are very helpful. The other commands which are associated with manipulating data are the TR, which translates the characters. The next command unique, it actually re reports the repeated lines in the file. So in order to determine the duplicate lines, this is very helpful. The word count that is WC, you might have seen this command in an earlier uh, Unix tutorial also. It gives the how many words are present in given file. It's rarely used, but it's very, um, again, a good, good to know command. VI, which is very a uh, well-known command, which opens the file in uh, VI text editor format where you can program, where you can read the file also. VIM is again another kind of editor, text editor as like VI. FMT which is a simple text formatter which you, you can format your text using this command. The spell command actually checks the, the text for the spelling errors. It has an inbuilt directory, uh, dictionary which, which is getting referred while checking the spelling. I spell is another uh, spelling checker command which you can use e m a c s emacs which is a, a jnu project emacs which comes with the set of commands also 
ex and edit these are the line editors so far we saw those manipulating data commands how about if you want to compress the files compressing file it's not necessary only in the unix there are some compress compressing uh, tools present in uh, the windows system or the imac or uh, i operate uh, ios systems so this is very common feature hence the unix also uses very um, extensive set of programs for compressing files the command compress it actually compresses your file there are like gunzip and gzip which compresses large file into very small gunzip actually it helps to uncompress the gzip file a gzip it's like gnu alternative compression method which is very strong compression uncompress which will uh, uncompress the file prepared by uh, compress method unzip it lists test and extract compressed file in the zip archive zcat actually it cats the compressed file so it's a way it's a good to know if you have the zip file if you don't want to uncompress but you would like to know what content it has you can use the zcat zcmp it actually compares the compressed file it's very powerful tool zdiff it comp uh, again compares the compressed file as like compare zmore it file partial filter to control viewing of the compressed text how about getting information if you want to know about the what commands which are available in unix to get the more information about commands or more information about your um, programming syntax so these are the commands here listed a props which locates the command by keyword lookup we have the command called as info also which displays the command information pages online man is very helpful command to see the not only the command but also it's a description as well as it's a uh, the pattern of who is the author etc what is it's another command which can be used to search is the to search the the what is database for complete word help is also a help tool which which is like a uh, help viewer you can get the information about uh, the commands now we so far we saw the commands which are helpful for manipulating data which are uh, getting the the information of the for compressing the file and also we saw the the pages or the help related command the next set of commands are related to the network suppose you want to transfer a file across networks or you want to connect to different servers how can we do that yes we have the commands in unix to do that ftp is the file transfer protocol or file transfer program which is used to transfer file from one location to other rcp is used to copy the remote file means if the files are present in the remote server you can copy that r login is used to remote login to unix host yes you can log into the remote server using r login rsh to connect to the remote shell so if the remote you, you have the shell which is present in the remote server you can connect to that shell as well tftp is a travel file transfer program telnet is very well known and i think you already aware of this command which is helpful to determine whether the given application is available or accessible telnet makes the terminal connection to another host ssh it is a secured shell terminal or command connection so if you want your access to shell should be secure you can use the ssh which is very secure per, uh, secure command instead of ssh scp is used for the secure shell copy uh, if the file is present remote sftp is a secure shell file transfer program so ftp is not secure but sftps so if your business is require more security using ssh scp and sftp are recommended now how about transferring the messages between the users 
what are the commands the commands such as mail message etc are very helpful evolution is another kind of command which is gui mail handling tool you know on in linux mail it simply sends an email from one user to other message which permits or denies the messages the command parcel is used to send the files to another user pine command is uh, it's a mail utility we have the talk and the write these are the also to have the communication between the users talk is used to talk to another user and write is used to write the messages to another user so those are very helpful commands um i'm sure even the we just had overview of this we did not did the demo but having these uh, commands handy will help for you for writing any unix shell program if you have any questions or you need any demo on particular command you can mention in the comment section of this video you can visit my website also for more interesting update about unix and other technologies thank you again for watching this video have a nice time